Good morning and welcome to your Monday morning devotional. Uh, for the next few weeks, we're going to look at different key words that has to do with your ability to cope in life and some of the aspects of what the Bible talks about. Well, today I want to talk about resilience. What is resilience? It's that ability to bounce back from tough situations. When you've gone through a difficult situation, it's that ability to, to spring back into life. If you think about an elastic band, a rubber band, what we call it in America, you can stretch it out stretch it stretch it stretch it and then it'll come right back to its place well that's the way it should be in the christian life is that regardless of what we're facing because of christ we have resilience so some of the things i want to look at for example is the health of our minds and of our soul um, there's a proverb uh, that says to guard our hearts it's Proverbs 4, 23, for out of it flows living water or the springs of life. Everything that you are about comes from the place of your heart. The question is, what, what is it that's coming out of your heart? As a man speaks or as a woman speaks, so is he, the Bible says, or she. Um, but Proverbs 23, 7 says, what a person thinks, so is that person. What is it that you're thinking? What is it that you are, are uh, chewing on? What are, what are the things that, that, that either weigh you down or lift you up? The thing about God is God isn't there to, to weigh you down, but to bring you back up, to encourage you, to lift you up. I love about God is that you might feel that there's a weight upon you, but the truth is that that weight is there to cause you to let go of things that hold you down so that your mind begins to think right things about yourself. Resilience comes when you put the right words into your heart. The King David, he wrote in the Psalms, your word I've hidden by my heart that I might not sin against you. The causes of sin isn't that we just fall into sin necessarily, but a lot of it has to do with what's in our heart. What is it that you're thinking on? If you're having anxious thoughts, if you're having frustration, if you're developing into anger, these emotions will cause you to go to a place where you are trapped and fall into sin and begin to think things about yourself or the situation that's not quite true. We always have to go back to the Word of God and what does the Word of God say? So, what are you thinking about today? What are you thinking about today? Are you the head or the tail? Are you above or beneath? Are you the apple of God's eye? Are you a child of God? Are you a co-heir with Christ? Where are you seated? Are you seated in heavenly places? Good questions to ask. But through these questionings should begin to build this resilience that no matter what I'm facing, I know who I am, for I know who I am in Christ. I am a child of God. God bless.